Vision journaling is all about visual art and the written word, but the materials you choose to express yourself can influence that experience. In this course, we'll use all types of art materials. Our actual vision journal is a mixed media sketchbook, so you can explore the various types of mediums. I recommend using the nine inch by 12 inch size. For those who need line pages, we recommend using a separate piece of lined paper, but tape it in your vision journal next to the healing art you create. Here are the other materials we'll use in this course. Watercolor and acrylic paints, colored pencils, markers, paint brushes, or whatever tools you feel inspired to use. Creative expression allows a certain freedom and flow when creating healing art. But sometimes we avoid certain materials or gravitate to the same materials because they're safe and familiar. Take colored pencils, for example. They need no instruction and they're easy to work with. Just color or draw. But here's the thing. Not stepping out of your comfort zone and trying new things has to do with a state of mind and conditioning. But depending on the art materials you choose can activate a certain response in you. Let's break it down like this. Art materials can be put into two groups. Group one is structured and controlled, and group two is free and intuitive. In group one, we put pencils, colored pencils, crayons, pens, and markers. These materials offer a more structured and controlled experience. They make you focus. There's more precision when creating. They make you think in rational ways, but can be easily manipulated and even erased. They're also less likely to arouse your emotions. The materials in group two, like watercolors and acrylic paints, can be wet, messy, and fun. Group two is by far my favorite. Even though I use a lot of the materials in group one, group two allows me the freedom to express myself more intuitively and with less control. These materials are more stimulating because they offer a more physical and tactile experience. They evoke my emotions in a positive and negative way even when I think I messed up, there's no judgment and no mistakes here. The materials you choose can spark your imagination, sending you in directions you didn't see before because the materials do what it is they want to do. I want you to explore various types of art materials in your work. Try watercolors and acrylics and get messy. Use markers and pens to draw and get more detail. The messages that translate through the various materials can be a powerful metaphor for life. Listen and explore, expand ideas, learn something new. The moral to this story is let go and have fun.